Clara Motta, and I want to show you some maquettes. These maquettes are made for the sole reason, sole purpose of getting a image from a painting to a print. I was trying to explain to you how they do it. So, so Victor Passmore in Malta um, lived in lived in Malta for a long time as well as England, and he would create paintings and he would have them exhibited and usually at the exhibition orders would be taken for the limited editions which would then be produced based on the amount of pre-orders the, the gallery and the publisher got. So uh, for example this one here is a photograph of a original painting by Victor Passmore and the reason Passmore himself instructed his either son or the gallery or the printers to take the photograph is because the photograph can be enlarged and it can be adapted and morphed and drawn on and um, mutilated if you like, added to or cropped without destroying the original artwork. So this is a photograph taken for example in about 1965-1970 of a original painting without the signatures and the printer has decided to overpaint it with white paint gouache and ink with black paint so that when it comes to the engraving of the metal etching plate the finished product will be better. So if you buy a limited edition pass more it is based on the maquette which itself is based on the original. So it's a very, quite a strange process. Um, so what happens with the, with the photograph is it's, in the case of Passmore, it's kept in a, in a little card and tissue paper pouch. And some of the adjustments were made on the tracing paper, the tissue paper, and instructions for sizing and color were also put on the piece of card and the comments came from Passmore, the printers and the publishers. So there was these were the sort of blue, the blueprints which were circulated around before the, the actual etching plate was made. And the reason I said point, I pointed out these originals from which the photograph is based aren't actually uh, signed by Passmore is because we have a book in which Passman was interviewed and uh, he said that he would try to go to the printers to, sorry, the manufacturers of the etching plate to, to sign in person the etching plate. And because he was signing the etching plate, when the print is made, so we sign on this side, when the print is made, the VP is in reverse. So it's quite a strange um, uh, circuitous story, but that's what he did. And then in, in this same interview, he described how the, the use of maquettes is important. So we have these maquettes. Are they original artworks by Passmore? Not necessarily. Are they original artworks by the printers? More, yes, more so. Um, are they 100% um, photographic? No, they're photographic and hand painted. Are they prints? No, they're prints of photographs, but they're, they're, they're semi it's a semi-artwork, semi semi-photograph. Semi so they're of interest, they're of academic interest. Uh, are they interesting decoratively? Well, who, who's to say? This one is, has been framed, so it's hanging in the landscape shape. I think they're quite interesting things. And they're not cheap, unfortunately, because there's not many around. And as I say, they have these cards, photographs, which were kept inside the pouches and the annotations were made both on the actual photograph and on the on the tissue paper. So there's a variety and these maquettes later went on to produce the actual finished prints which are usually roughly speaking 38 centimeters square, 15 inches square. This is another one we have done in landscape and again it shows interesting annotations and very notably, they have arrows in each, usually, facing up to show the printers which way around they go. 
And in England, sometimes you find in art galleries, passports are hung the wrong way around. So this one here says, for example, I can't read it. Also plain plat, approximately 15 by 15. Something plat, plus one. That looks like Italian on there. I'm not sure if it is or not. Rip with dimensions, and you have the same shape traced on the top. So I don't really know what, quite what they were doing. They make it easier to print, I think, and clearer to print. And sometimes the past more you'll find on the finished limited editions, you have the original image, and you'll sometimes see the ads blocks outside the plate in the margin, sometimes he adds text. Another one here, so this one is hanging, we've had it done like that, portrait way, black sepia, 15 inches, rip. So these are instructions, this again is overpainted by hand, probably by the, the printers under instruction, or marble galleries, the publisher, or Parcel himself. Some of the ones we have, like this one, is stamped. John Parsonal Photography, with his address in Blackheath in London, they've since sold the family house. This one here, same story, a photograph overpainted, no signature on the original painting. Three lines something, one solid 15 by 15, and he's pointed out some adjustments which have been made. I think there are two blocks here which are Touching, I think that presented problems for the printers with running ink, perhaps. So they divided them, made a gap. Very interesting things. And of some age, some age, around 1970. I think that they are very interesting things. I think that they can be hung in pairs. And I think that because they're displayed in these cases, these glazed cases, where you can see the back and the sides, there are talking points. So this one here, another one, an original photograph. Instructions, sepia, the size, and on the back you've got instructions from Marlborough House in Bond Street, London. So that's been framed as well. Nice clean frame. So, so we have these maquettes. We also have, um, from time to time, original artworks by to pass more and more frequently we have prints limited edition prints by Passmore and the, the prices are strong and there's quite a lot of variety he has uh, Malta not many of his pictures allude to Malta uh, even though he lived a long time but the market for Passmore and Malta is strong because a, there is a museum a foundation dedicated to to him and his art and uh, locally People do like to do, do seem to like to have past more stuff. The the ones I, I think are probably the best of Malta are the Calypso Cave prints, which alludes to the Gozo caves of Calypso. Anyway, thank thank you for looking. Hopefully, it's been quite interesting. Thank you.